Hello and welcome to my review of the Blackstone Fortress Rogue Psychers. The only way to get these at the moment is through uh, buying the Blackstone Fortress uh, box set which will cost you £95. You get two Psychers and you can have them both the same really. Look this is exactly the same um, part as the one on the right and the same on the one on the left so you can have them looking exactly the same if you want but I wanted to have them different it makes no difference in sort of rule rule games and things it's just the way that the sprue turned out so these are going to go in the, the bits box uh, never to be seen again most probably but I just th thought I'd show you the spare parts for them okay well you can get them in the Blackstone Fortress um, set uh, you can use them in games of Warhammer 40,000 I'll go through the rules in a moment but first of all let's have a look at the um, models themselves so these rogue psychers, they're kind of levitating. They're on these ball and chains or maces. Uh, they've got, I think they've got auto pistols or las pistols. I don't know. Um, but they've got these big bulbous kind of heads. Um, this guy's got this uh, kind of rod, this spear thing. I need to file that down a bit. It looks a bit messy at the moment, but uh, there you go. Um, yeah, a fair bit of detail on them, a bit of a cloak. Um, yeah, some chaos iconography. And this guy, he's got some kind of horn growing out of his big bulbous head. He's got his fingers to his brain. Um, and he's got a smaller sort of rod or staff. Um, again, quite similar. Um, but they're definitely sort of, they're on 32 more bases, so they definitely stand out um, as psychers, um, which could be a good thing, could be a bad thing uh, in your force. Um, but yeah, they're quite tall figures and speaking of which let's just go through some size comparisons so let's do a normal chaos space marine they they are they are taller because they're levitating i mean if i was to put him sort of feet level he's taller than the um psyker but yeah just base to base and um, they are taller than the normal space marines um next to uh traitor guardsmen they're absolutely dwarf them um much smaller but if i put them feet to feet they're only a little bit taller but yeah, I think that's a quite good size comparison there. And then next to some Imperial models, here's a normal Space Marine. Again, obviously, foot to foot, Space Marine's a tiny bit taller, um, but model-wise, the Psyker is um, taller. And then next to an Intercessor, yeah, taller than an Intercessor, uh, model-wise. So yeah, they definitely have a fair bit of presence um, being this, this tall. Um, you know, you're going to spot them on the battlefield, which gives you a great um, opportunity to practice your painting skills so that they stand out. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll go through all of the rules of the Rogue Psychers. Um, so you can find them in your uh, data sheets uh, for your Blackstone Fortress and um, Warhammer Quest booklet. They are an elite choice and a power points cost of a two. They're a match play points cost of 30 each. So one Rogue Psyker is a power points cost of a two and a, power and a normal points cost of 30. So it'd be 60 points for both of these. Their movement is six inches. Uh, weapon skill and ballistic skill four plus. That's not amazing. Um, strength and toughness are only three. They do have four wounds and they do have two attacks each and their leadership eight and a save of five plus. A rogue psycho is a single model armed with a last pistol and chaos stave. No more than two of these models can be included in your army. That sort of makes sense. Can't have more than two of these uh, these psycho models. So they're a bit squishy with their poor toughness and next to no save. So their weapon, their last pistol, is a range of 12 inches, uh, pistol one, strength three, AP zero, and damage one. You'll probably do more damage um, shining a bright torch into your enemy's eyes than using that. The chaos stave though is a melee weapon, uh, strength of the user which is three, AP minus one and damage D3. So yeah, you've heard it right here. That stave, that pointy stick uh, is more damage and better armor penetration than uh, the firearm that they're carrying. Enough said. So the main reason why you get them then, well, their abilities, the servants of the abyss. Um, this ability has no effect unless your army includes obsidious malics. Basically, um, this ability means that um, if you've got obsidious malics, these psychers, these rogue psychers have to be within six inches of him or they must be in the same transport as him. So you don't really get any benefit other than it's just more bodies on the table and they're closer to um, Malek's. However, unrestrained power. You can re-roll any dice rolls of one when taking a psychic test for this model. However, this model suffers perils of the warp on any psychic test that is a double 
not just a double one or double six. Now that's pretty horrific. So it means you can re-roll dice rolls of a one, but when you're getting any doubles, they suffer perils of the warp. That's, that's pretty poor. Slaves to Malix. If your army is battleforged, the unit does not take up slots in a detachment that includes Obsidious Malix. That's pretty good. Now, the model can attempt to manifest one psychic power in each friendly psychic phase and attempt to deny one psychic power in each enemy psychic phase. It knows the smite power. So that's pretty good if you've got two of them, because then you know you've got a psychic power each and also um, they know smite power. Keywords, Chaos, Servants of the Abyss, Character, Infantry, Psyker and Rogue Psyker. So they're pretty standard, straightforward Rogue Psykers, nothing amazing. They do have the Chaos Stave, which could be a bit damaging, but they're quite squishy and they don't have a high toughness or a very good save. Um, you're best off just using the Psychic Powers and using the Smite um, and obviously denying um, Psychic Powers for, for your enemy. So if you're against a, a Psychic Army, they're going to be quite run-of-the-mill units and they're probably quite nice things to have near Obsidious Malix um, if he's going to be targeted by psychic powers um, during the course of the battle. What am I missing guys? Put it in the comments below and um, what do you think of the models and the rules? It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Papa bless.